Hi everybody, Christopher Adventure Van and here is the water test. This is the ultimate build we did uh, this year, about two months ago and we never did a tour in English of the van so this is the day that this van gets English uh, tour. Here we have 277 horsepower Nissan Patrol and here we have 2020 um, Heimer Grand Canyon S with popped up and we are making the first ever popped up roof rack for this van stay tuned with that so anyways this van is dirty it just came back after the journey we always do vans in our shop in a way that we give the van to the customer at some point pretty much in the finish and they drive the vans for about two months and then they return to us with some fresh ideas and some extra extra things which they find maybe after a while that they would like to have so let's focus first on the bodywork so even though this is a 2017 van it had a little little rust spots that sprinter vans they rust so we've repaired that We've covered the whole van in Raptor liner and a very known uh, Polish street artist called Noriaki made this drawing by hand, freestyle. Uh, he was brought by the owner of the van to perform all of the art here. So we have Safari snorkel, only original parts folks, no, no aftermarket parts. We have custom made winch mount with worn winch here and we have custom made bumper. This all bumpers elements we custom fabricate with PFA off-road together. We design them and do them together. So this is the light holder winch mount with I don't know how to call this part. You can just freaking you know uh, push the car out with these you don't need a original tow hook uh, roof rack was made with uh, integrated awning from Thule uh, alloy wheels PF Goodrich all terrains our custom made adventure van springs uh, for better performance in off-road and on-road let's go here we have Fox shocks we have Fox shocks with custom main mounts for these shocks and we have a special leaf spring here external water tank which is uh, a test unit you can see we've covered it with silver foils it's a test unit this is what we test now and probably we will have that in our mm, shop soon we will offer these parts side pods the flares they're made by A to B conversions in England very 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 good product that I can only recommend. Tony, you do a very good job with this stuff. I really love them. I will never ever buy flares from anyone else. So we have original ARB tracks, tracking boards. We have fire stick antenna for radio, CB radio. And we have all the custom stuff here. So this is a ladder with a spare wheel carrier. And you have here, you know this material the grip tape which you know lets you walk up and down without a problem um, this one this whole system is removable so you can remove the spare wheel you can remove the flange here it's mounted separately on the carrier and you can use this carrier in any other functions for example you can hang a kayak on it and by far you can use these specially designed holes that you can just put the screw in and put a special adapter and you can put bikes whatever you like pretty much yeah jerry cans whatever you want and basically uh, some guy on english forum on uh, sprinter 4x4 campers uk really hates us and he is giving our page all the time minus reviews one reviews even though he never did a business with us and he says that we cannot weld so here you go mate these are our welds this is how we do stuff here this is how we do stuff you know so maybe rather than uh, hating our page for nothing because probably we are some kind of a, um, I don't know a competition for you 
rather than that you just post your pictures and your photos doesn't matter uh, if you guys saw that the ranks are on our page are going down this is because of a typical typical hater guy who cannot stand that we do some good jobs here anyway so this is a look at the welds look how the things like all of the things how they get done and finished look at that look at the quality here we have stainless steel hinges stainless steel stainless steel locks stainless steel coolers nothing is really cheap in these vents we have a step here this is a custom made step for this car exclusively and the case the aluminium case it can be done in two ways it can be done directly on the hinges or it can be done like this with the adapter and when you have the adapter you can put the bicycle uh, rack here is a rack for two bikes uh, the customer got a rack for four bikes and two bikes so basically you know you can this is really really tough they're really rough stuff and the two mounts here so pretty much this adapter also you can adapt to whatever you need you can put bikes on it you can hang bikes like that as well but you can have the case you can have the wheel rack that's a lot of a lot of features and only our imagination is the limit so let's go up on the roof rack here we have a paddock here we have a terrace <laughs> we have um, 330 watts of solar power we have some led lights here and there for reverse this one there is removed because we cannot get in the shop with it uh, so <laughs> i will go up actually a huge window the panels are integrated with the rack and they reinforce the whole rack it's all made on track system so every time someone puts something on the roof like um, SUP board or a surfboard you can adapt the track system and you can pull it with a special uh, you know with the with the automatic belt I don't know how is it called in English I'm not an English guy I'm Polish I speak good English but not perfect so now I go back I go down reverse camera this is also not the original part of this van Bam. So let's go to the interior of the van. There are so many things to speak about here. But let's go to the interior. And the first thing you see is a Webasto isotherm fridge with a freezer. It's working all the time, non-stop since two months because of the solar setup and the Victron energy system. Well, I will turn off the music. We have, by the way, we have, oh, I didn't turn off, we have nine JBL speakers with a subwoofer and it plays, it does play very well. It has an Alpine station here. Uh, that's all pretty much top quality. Yeah, so I will turn off the music. Swivel seats uh, made with original Italian leather and original Alcantara and here we have the same patterns which are on the van painted from Noriaki. We have here everywhere same same panels same on the mattresses the whole van is just like one complete design and here we have induction chargers automatic so Okay, it doesn't work without the phone, but let's see here. Here I have a phone, so this is a induction automatic. You can put it on and off. We have some carbon fiber um, elements here. Um, a land meter. Oh my God, there's so many things to speak about here. <laughs> Sorry guys, every time I walk in this van, I'm like so, uh, so happy that we made it, you know, that this is the product. Here we have, you know, these are original original Rymo blinds here are the blinds that we produce with uh, mosquito nets you can open the window in the night put this down uh, open the mosquito net and you can have some fresh air so we have some reading light from Osram you know when children are driving in the back and they don't want to annoy the driver in the night they can use this light or for 
general purposes you have this light here you have this led bar touch bar bang so anytime you cook in the night you can have a really nice mood here we have the lights the, the normal lights you can put them up and down you can choose a red light pink light whatever you want and here we have victron energy system which is monitoring everything it shows you pretty much every every single part of the van now we have a look 99.9% .9 of battery so we monitor our tanks here we monitor how much power the solars produce how much power takes the inverter here we have a 2000 watt victron energy inverter the whole system is victron energy 100% no chinese stuff so we have a deck gas detectors here pump um, usb ports everywhere usb ports and 230 ports everywhere table kitchen the bed of the children the bed of the parents lights everywhere everything pretty much that's really really the top top quality van you can open this window here and there is a we produced a fan that you can adapt to this window here there is a line somewhere hidden you can turn it on and you can have some air circulation so let's close it down the um, blinds for the um, windows are closed now Korean countertop that's a real real Korean and here we have two options this is a bamboo part of the countertop but they also have Korean one they can choose if they want to use this one or another one okay I have to turn off the phone sorry what else we have these seats are also cool because they can fold and you can remove them completely look at the stitching look at that look at all of this work here that's freaking amazing and on the floor we have um, vinyl that's um, woven vinyl uh, and it has also green stitching which fits this parts and then we go here we have also green parts of the van everywhere so we have created like the complete set of the van here like complete colors okay CB radio USB ports again pretty much everywhere as I told you uh, the car is equipped with Webasto uh, dry heater and Webasto wet heater so every time you want to have a hot water you either drive the car and you know the engine hits the boiler that's a Webasto boiler or you turn on the wet Webasto if you stand somewhere longer and you have instantly hot water so let's go inside the shower cabin here we have so that's an acid proof cabin with a port a big big Tedford porta potty the electric one we never install the cassette toilets toilets in these vents because if you would like to install cassette toilet here on this wall how is it normally made you have to cut in the construction of the van and this is a 4x4 van it cannot be done this way uh, because it just makes the whole chassis softer plus the whole cabin head would have to be like pretty much uh, here so we would like lose a lot of space here you know so here we have very comfy seats and uh, normally in the camper vans you have like to sit like that and here we can just relax again we have induction uh, charger here that's uh, one cool thing that's a uh, JBL nano subwoofer the blind here as well all of the cabinets everything is handmade bamboo everything is hand handcrafted nothing here in this van except only the you know the doors and panels is made on a machine that's a really real craftsmanship craftsmanship and you cannot find it anywhere else and with the stainless uh, steel cabin you don't have a problem of any cracks 
you know coming like it is in normally in the plastic cabins you have to uh, redo the seals every season or even a couple times in a season here that's one and forever job you don't have to mess with that anymore so let's close the doors here we have the aluminium beds but i will show them to you from the back also we have some tracks here because now the customer knows that he wants to have some nets here so we will put one more track here we are ready to do that we have a um, reinforcement here so we can put another track and they can hang some stuff like that let's turn this off okay and let's go outside that's also a cool feature we have drawers everything's inside the van is being used and they love it they really love it so the only gas in the van we have is for the cookers yeah uh, because uh, you know our vans are usually like Febasto <coughs> Febasto fueled and that's an unusual stuff that we do a building cooker so we have a little bottle here uh, in the cabinet there to to use so we have the water tap the um the tanks are empty so i cannot turn on the water at the moment because we've emptied the tanks as we will be removing our test tank and taking a look what's if it's working or not in the way that we want it and we will do like a small table here as well that falls down okay you know here we have some more extra ports and there everywhere and this refrigerator they installed by themselves and they want to make a they want to raise the floor in here a little bit so it's like more leveled you know these are the ideas that come when you already use the van again even here we have a green green label <laughs> every single where 230 volt plug so let's go to the back when we go to the back that's pretty pretty uh, funny thing here so you enter the water here you uh, this van is um, all year round van so it's isolated so well that in plus 30 uh, degrees Celsius you use the air condition on the first gear and it's like really chilly inside so for the winter purposes we've installed the water tank inlet here uh, there's some vents for um, the boiler and everything so here is the exterior shower here we have an ARB compressor that you can just plug in here 230 volt uh, plug for e-bikes you can charge e-bikes from solars and let's go here we have ah, lifepo batteries here in the van so everything is everything is here all of the batteries and the whole electronic system aluminium beds and here we have interior tank here we have 60 liter interior tank and we have the boiler and under the car we have 100 liter tank just an extra tank for summer purposes for summer use aluminium beds that's um, a very lightweight and very very solid beds you cannot pretty much destroy them and because this van is now designed for a family of three actually the parents they sleep down here a little bit sideways they're not really tall guys and their son sleeps here on the top and they really love the setup but as children grow and one day you know their son will say hey hey dad give me the key i'm driving alone <laughs> and maybe they would not like to drive so much together anymore they can replace this bed they can just unscrew it take it out and on the track system they have another panel at home and they can adjust the height of the bed so they put another bed here they remove this one they remove this one and they put another bed here which they can adjust so they can sleep like straight on sideways and use this as a storage area so here you have everywhere track systems and other st stuff so when they have the beds here they can put the bicycles in the car 
and mount it here with the fork mount and pretty much there's so much so many ways you know to configure this van i mean you can leave this part as well and you can have then uh, two stories of cargo area so that's really really a lot of ways to use this van and overhead shelf with molly system to mount this um, sacks so all of the little parts little things are there and here there is another way of another storage way um, yeah the lining as you see that's a natural hemp liner and we did it everywhere everywhere and it stays everywhere it's really really I mean look how the van is done like look how all of these things and panels they fit and they are like nicely really made you know that's 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 just the craftsmanship here the team in adventure van did a lot of lot of work and they took care that every single part is well made so all of these panels all of them you can see we have some screws these are not screws these are bolts and every little part every single thing is mounted on rivnuts every single thing there is no no noise in the car when you drive like for example in the grand canyon s everything makes a lot of noise and everything is squeaking and itching and pretty much making us like angry so we are fighting with that and here you have really many of these bolts but look at that i mean nothing is moving everything is firm and solid you know no noises so that's the really the ultimate van here that we have if you have any more questions about the van then just write in the comment section we will answer them and we will be very happy to answer them uh, because somehow we have a lot of work to do and maybe I just forgot about something maybe I forgot to say something about the van but oh yeah and these seats as you see I kind of are remind myself <laughs> during the movie so these are air seats as well these are air suites with with the swivel system the whole the whole floor is done and I pretty much extra isolated all of the doll panners everything everywhere this van is absolutely completely isolated all of the areas I will do a movie about isolation in adventure van uh, when we will be building some kind of a new project carbon fiber and that's a 193 liter engine here with 190 horsepower we will be tuning that to 230 horsepowers uh, that's i love this van it's really the best van and pretty much look at that fox shocks and especially made and designed springs here and again the shocks that we produce for these vans let's take a ride in it because the quality of the ride i mean these vans when they are loaded when they are converted they weigh a lot right so usually they weigh about three uh three tons three tons 100 kilos and when people drive them they can really weigh really really much because people put some a lot of stuff in them and what then happens is that the vans are not like really stable uh they are like feeling like very heavy and because of this suspension that we could produce the van is like pretty much in a natural position like it would be empty and in off-road i mean in off-road these shocks and the whole system is absolutely absolutely working fantastic um as you can hear i can speak very freely and we have like uh, not like a really hard road here but it's like not straight yeah so there are no no noises no squeaking no itching no like it is usually in a uh, normal camper vans there are some things in the 
there are some belongings of the people in you know in the cabinet so always like the things that are inside are making some noises but after a journey like they had now you know we can now fill the cabinets with uh, you know with some kind of uh, acoustic map uh, mats and like you know everything can be even even more quiet look at that look how it writes that's really fantastic and I have here only on the first gear the air condition uh, I don't have a thermometer here but it would be really funny to see that we have here a really 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 cool and chilly climate you know so oh yeah we did also the lightning on the van we did all the LED lights Baja lights these are not original Bajas but they're really really well working well so yeah I hope you like it again and as I said before, just uh, if you have any questions, you can just ask in the comment section. So Christopher Adventure Van was nice to show you the van and see you soon with our new project which is, which is coming. That's a T1N Sprinter, which will be as same classy as this one. I can now tell you that this T1 will be like one of the most beautiful T1s ever made. Cheers!